Hey everyone, this is Hollander Cooper from GamesRadar.com here to show you everything you need to know about Mega Evolutions. While most of them aren't available until after you beat the game, some are accessible before you defeat the Elite Four, so let's go through those first. First of all, we already know about Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. Professor Sycamore gives you the Pokémon and the Megastone for that Pokémon. But after you beat the game, it's possible to get the Mega Stones for the others. What you have to do is go to Lumio City, the one in the middle that looks kind of like Paris, and there's a guy in the Stone Emporium that will sell you the Mega Stones for a lot of money. Charizards are 100,000, Blastoises are 500,000, and Venusaurs are 300,000. The reason Charizards are so cheap, probably, is because there's actually two of them. You have Charizardite X and Charizardite Y. Lucario's Mega Evolution is actually just handed to you. At one point in the game, you're going to get a Lucario, and he comes with one. Obama Snow is actually the same way. At one point in the game, you're just going to be handed one, so you don't even have to go out of your way for it. Ampharosis is actually beneath the Sea Spirit's Den in Azure Bay. There's a little island with a man on it and then a fishing trainer. Talk to the man, and he's just going to give you an Ampharosite. Gengar has a Mega Evolution as well, and it is awesome. Awesome. In Laver City, there's a black-haired woman on the top left. Talk to her, and she's going to give you a Gengarite. And then you get to see exactly how much more badass Gengar can be. And shockingly, it's pretty freaking badass. In Ambrant Town, you can get Aerodactylite just by talking to a guy in the fossil lab. Just go over and talk to him. He's like, here, just take it. Go find an Aerodactyl. Smash some rocks. After you beat the game, you're going to get Absolite pretty much for free. Once you defeat your rival and kill out City, she just goes like, here, take an Absolite. And then you can, if you find an Absol, use it. One of the first Mega Evolutions shown off, Mewtwo, X, and Y, are both available right to the left of the Pokemon Village. There's a cave that you can't get to until you beat the game. A little guy is going to block you just for some reason. But once he moves, you can go in and capture Mewtwo, and he'll give you a Mewtwoite. You can get Gardevoir's Megastone by going to see Diantha in the cafe in south of Lumio City. It's the same place you met her early in the game, and if you talk to her, you can trade her any Pokémon for a Pokémon holding Gardevoirite. Here's where things get complicated. After you beat the game and do a few quick fetch quests, you're going to be able to go around the world between 8pm and 9pm real time and find little spots on the ground that are sparkling, and if you go up and interact with them, you get a Megastone. The rest of the day, they're just not there. To get Gyroses, you can go to Coraway Town. There's a little river and a bunch of waterfalls that looked really interesting, but kind of boring because there was nothing there earlier in the game. Later in the game, though, you can go there to get the Mega Evolution Stone for Gyrodos. Metachams might be the most obvious one in the game. In Laver City, the same one you get Gengar at, you can just go up, there's a well, and there's the Mega Stone right in front of it. Kangas Khan's is in the beginning of the Glittering Caves. You want to head there from Ambrit Town, which means you're going to ride the Rhinehorn around. And once you go inside, it's that, like, third person behind the back camera thing. Take the first right, go all the way down, and there it is at the end of the tunnel. For Alakazam's Mega Evolution, there's a spot in the Reflecting Cave where there's, like, a glowing landing that you probably thought there would be a legendary evolution at some point in there. Nope, it's Alakazamite. It's uh, kind of hard to find, but you'll see at one point there's a mirror reflecting stairs you can go down. So look for that, go downstairs, and then... For Bonnet's Mega Evolution, you have to go to the Chamber of Emptiness, which is kind of funny because, you know, it's supposed to be empty. Garchomp's is near the end of Victory Road. There's a small clearing outside where there's some rocks and some trainers to fight. Some of the rocks you can smash, and if you do, there's a stone tower with a little sparkling thing in front. Get yourself some Garchompite. Heracross and Pinsir both have Mega Evolutions, but they're both in the same spot depending on which version of the game you have. Heracross's is in version Y. You go to Salatoon Forest from Route 2, go straight up, and it's on the left. If you have version X, you're going to find Pinsir right there. Scizors is kind of hard to find just because it's in a weird spot. Remember that Obama Snow earlier that gave you the Obama Snow White? Right behind him, there's a little sparkle that you can barely see. Go up and interact with it, and Scizors Megastone is there. You've probably noticed that all of these are outside. One is not. Maw Isles is on the second floor of Shabanu Castle. You go to the left, go up the stairs, and it's right there glowing for you. Blaziken has a Mega Evolution as well, but you don't have to really do anything to get it. There'll be instructions in your box, but essentially all you need to do is go to the main menu, select Mystery Gift, Received Gift, hit Yes, Get Via Internet, Yes, and then go to talk to the woman in the Pokemon Center, and you'll get a Torchic with a Blazikenite. 
So far, those are all of the ones we've found, but there are more. Mega Houndooms is apparently on Route 16, but it's only in version Y. We've searched everywhere and we can't find it. When we do find it, we'll update this video with a little text thing that hopefully is there by now that tells you exactly where to go. Manectrix is in the same spot in X. We're guessing it's in this basement area in the Lost Hotel, but there's a bunch of punks there that tell us we can't get in because we're not stylish enough. Once we figure that out, the text will be right here telling you where to go. There's also two that we haven't found and we have no idea where they are. There's rumors that there's a Mega Tyranitar because apparently in one of the minigames you can see a Mega Tyranitar. That's not totally confirmation, but whatever, it's apparently in there. We have no idea where it is, but when we do, Right here on this screen, there will be text explaining where to do it, and probably a link to a video showing it off. Same deal with Mega Agron. Somewhere in the game, apparently, maybe there's a Mega Stone. We haven't found one, but when we do, we'll update this video. And as of now, those are all of the Mega Evolutions in the game that anybody has even mumbled about there being. There's rumors of a Mega Jinx. Some people think there's gonna be Mega Evolutions added via events or maybe there are some other ones hidden. There are some caves that we haven't found anything in, so there's a chance they're there. But that's what we've found so far. We've spent the hours between eight and nine searching every part of the world to get you this video. Um, please subscribe, we're gonna find more. We have plenty of more Pokemon coverage going up all the time. And be sure to head over to gamesradar.com where we have more guides on how to find Megastones, the complete Pokedex, and plenty more.